And new at 11, a mystery laser strike threatens a flight over central Florida. Yeah, investigators say the sudden flash of green light injured the pilot. News 6's Troy Campbell's live from Orlando International Airport tonight. So, Troy, you're, they're still looking for the person who did this, right? And the good news is that pilot was able to safely land that Boeing 737 right here at Orlando International without delay. This after the FAA says the pilot's eyes were even injured when a green laser light illuminated the cockpit. Roger, any injuries on board and say color? Radio transmissions from air traffic control describing what a pilot said happened after a green laser light filled the cockpit. Touch all craft, uh, unauthorized laser illumination event about 12 miles west, southwest of New Smyrna Beach Airport, 3,000 feet reported by Skyhawk Green and Color. WestJet Airlines tells News 6 the pilot of Flight 1948 reported the laser while preparing to land at Orlando International Airport at 9.50 Saturday night. Here's the path according to FlightAware, showing the Boeing 737 taking off from St. John's International Airport in Canada. The successful landing taking place just six minutes after the pilot reported the laser. The airline telling News 6, laser incidents pose a serious concern to crew and aircraft safety and have serious repercussions for those found to be shining lasers in a manner that could result in injury or damage. The Volusia County Sheriff's Office says the FAA told them after the pilot's eyes were burned by the laser, he was placed on medical leave with a scheduled eye evaluation in the upcoming days. In the moments that followed, air traffic controllers can be heard warning other approaching aircrafts of the reported green laser. We at Bar, just want to give you a heads up. There was a laser illumination event about your 11 o'clock and 12, and it's at 12, 15 miles. You want to stay a little bit further west of DeLand. Volusia investigators say the flight crew thought it might have located a home in Volusia County where that laser light originated from, but tonight the sheriff's office says that was not the case. As of now, investigators have not announced any arrests, but they do remind the public not only is it extremely dangerous to shine a laser light at any aircraft, it's also illegal. Live at Orlando International tonight, Troy Campbell getting results, News 6. Hopefully they catch whoever did it. Troy, thank you.